Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, this is a viewer request for this particular question. I got this comment uh, looking specifically at this question from the 2020 New South Wales Economics HSC, and I started trying to write a reply, but I thought, well, it would just be easier to show how I would do it and to answer some of those questions. So that's what I'm going to do. So we'll go across to the online whiteboard and we will have a look at how I would go about doing this question. So you can see here uh, from the 2020 New South Wales HSC for ECHO. So at equilibrium, it's really nice that they tell you that at equilibrium where there's no international trade and economy consumes 3000 kilos of cotton. So I'm just going to show my process. Not all of this I would do in the actual exam because I don't have all that time. So if I'm going to start, I'm going to be like, all right, well, I've got price and I've got quantity and I've got zero. Then I've got supply and I've got uh, demand, obviously. And then it tells me that at equilibrium. So I'll just say that that's point A. So this is point A. So then I go across here and I go there, and I go there, and I say, okay, well, I've got PE, and I've got QE. So what I know is that at point A, that supply equals demand. And even more importantly, domestic supply is equal to domestic demand. So if that is the story or the situation, then imports will equal zero. That everything is being fulfilled domestically, so there's no need for imports in that economy. So what happens next, though, is that the government opens the economy to trade. So what we're going to start to see, let's put this over here, is that, okay, so we're going to start to see some imports arrive. So the government introduces a tariff of $5 per kilo, resulting in imports of 10,000 and total consumption of 35,000. World price is $20 per kilo. There's a lot going on here. What I would just do is I would draw this up. So I've got the original situation on that side, and then I would go, okay, so here we've got P, we've got Q. Sorry, it doesn't look very good, but the nib on the Wacom is almost to nothing. So what we've got here is that the world price is $20. So I can just put this across here and I can say, all right, so P world is $20. Okay. Now what I know is that there is a tariff of $5 per kilo. So I'll put the tariff price in white. So then I can put this across here and I can say this is price world now plus the tariff, and that will be $25, of which the government will collect the $5 per unit tariff. That that goes to the government. Oh, something that I didn't do over here is that I know that the equilibrium quantity is 30000 kilos. So that quantity is in kilos. Okay, so the government collects that $5 per unit for the tariff. Okay, so what else do we know? So that when we get this happening here is that we've got that is there, that is there. That when the tariff happens, there are imports of 10,000. So if I put down here, so then I've got here at the higher price, then this is domestic. So this is supply domestic. And then here, this is demand domestic. And the gap in these two will be filled by imports. So what the question is telling us is that imports are 10,000. So that this distance here between those two points will be 10,000. Okay, that's fine. We're still going. What I also know is that there is total consumption of 35,000 kilos. So that total demand here is 35,000. 
So if I've got that being 35,000 and that being 10,000, then domestic supply over here now has to be 25,000 kilos. Okay, so now we're starting to put it together. So I've got my graphs that are telling me what is happening. And then I'll put a line down here just to remind me that I can focus on one side first. And I'm going to focus on this side first here. And I'll explain to you why. That what I'm going to say is that over here, let's call this one, is that if I look at one, that there is no government revenue from the tariff. Because there is no tariff. There are no inputs, so there is no tariff. And then if I go over here and I say, all right, well, this is situation two, right? Is that, okay, so I know that government revenue for the tariff specifically will equal the size of the tariff times the number of imports because the tariff is being levied on every import. So if I move this down just a little bit slightly here, that I can say that, well, I know that the size of the tariff is $5 per unit here, and that I know that the number of imports that are being sold is 10,000. So then I've got 50,000. So what's really good about finding that out is I can then cross off this one and then I can cross off this one. And then that makes my life a lot easier because now I've got a 50-50. So then if I go to this other side and we'll put this in blue. So then if we look at here, I'm saying, what is the change in domestic production? Okay, so let's look at this over here. So if we look at production, In situation one, that it is 30,000 tons, right? Because everything is being produced domestically as there are no imports. So this 30,000 tons here is all domestic production because imports equals zero. Then if I go to situation two here, what is domestic production? So domestic production would be supply domestic, how much domestic producers make. So I'm looking here, okay, so what is supply domestic? And that what we know is that <clears throat> if the total amount is 35,000 and imports are 10,000, then that would be 25,000. So the difference between these numbers is that it has fallen by 5,000. So if I go over here, I can see, oh, well, it hasn't decreased by 10,000. It's fallen by 5,000. So that is how I would get to the answer. It's a lot of work for one mark, but that's kind of what's required. I guess you could put these both on the same graph and that might make your life a little bit easier, but I just wanted to break it down a little bit more so you can see the different components. That the really important part is trying to construct it from the information they give you. So if I scroll out a little bit here, if total consumption is 35,000, this part here, then that is demand right? That that is the amount that people want, how much they consume. So that is the total amount that will be here. I think that can be a tricky part. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you've got any things you want to clarify about the way I've gone about it or anything else really to do with this question, then just put it in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And also thank you to the viewer for asking the question. Send your questions through. They could be the topic of the next video.